Hello, today we will learn the story of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk was born around 1881 in Thessaloniki, Salonika Vilayet, Ottoman Empire, which currently corresponds to Thessaloniki, Greece. When Ataturk was about 12 years old, he was sent to military school and then to the military academy in Istanbul, graduating in 1905. He had a long military career, going through relevant positions and important historical moments for Turkey. He managed to bring together a large number of Turkish people who survived the First World War. Thus, he resisted the Greek forces that had claims over some disputed territories. Given all his good reputation gained from his time as a soldier and the battles won in favor of Turkey, in 1921, Ataturk established a provisional government in Ankara. The following year, the Ottoman Sultanate was formally abolished, and in 1923, Turkey became a secular republic with Ataturk as president. He established a one-party regime that lasted almost without interruption until 1945. In this way, he is considered the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey. He vastly modernized Turkey and its systems. Some of the changes were the abolition of the Sultanate on November 1, 1922, and the declaration of the Republic on October 29, 1923. Women were placed on equal rights with men. There was the Hat and Costume Revolution and the Surname Law on June 21, 1934, by virtue of which, including in 1935, when surnames were introduced in Turkey, he received the name Ataturk, which means Father of the Turks. Furthermore, during his government there was the adoption of the international calendar, time and measurements, as well as the establishment of the new Turkish civil code and other secular laws, the adoption of the new Turkish alphabet, written based on the Latin alphabet on November 1, 1928, there was encouragement for farmers. The implementation of development plans from around 1933 to 1937, in addition to the construction of new roads to connect all parts of the country. In this way, Ataturk created a modern state that would grow under his successors into a democracy. He died on November 10, 1938 in Istanbul, Turkey. To this day, he is remembered, mainly in Turkey, for his ideas and political actions. So, thank you for watching the video. I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Thanks. To the next.